Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make a golden-hued, timeless image like this wedding photo from an ordinary snapshot. This document is 1500 by 1000 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Make two copies of your background by pressing Ctrl or Command plus J twice. Call up your elliptical marquee tool and go to the area of the photo you'd like to highlight the most. Press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag out a small to medium sized circle surrounding that area. Go to Select, Modify and Feather. We'll feather it by 50 pixels. Depending on the size and resolution of your photo, you may want to adjust this number. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to cut the selection from the image and copy it to its own layer. Let's rename it Focus, since this will be the only layer that will remain in focus. We'll rename the second layer Radial Blur and the third layer Gaussian Blur. Click off the eyeball of Radial Blur to hide the layer. With the Gaussian Blur layer active, go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur it by 8 pixels. Make the Radial Blur layer visible and active. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Radial Blur. We'll blur the amount by 35, the blur method is Zoom, and the quality best. Go to the crosshairs in the window and move it to the spot relative to the photo where you drew the circle earlier. Change the Blend Mode to Soft Light. Click on Gaussian Blur to make it active and reduce the opacity to 70%. Make the Focus layer active and click on the Adjustment Layer icon. Choose Curves. The lower left of the Curves panel represents black in your image while the upper right represents white. By dragging the point of the diagonal line down it makes the areas of the photo that are already dark even darker. If you go too far, just press Z to undo your last action. Conversely, by dragging the point near the upper right corner up, it blooms out the lightest areas of the photo. So basically, we created a subtle S-curve. Click on the Adjustment Layer icon again, and this time choose Solid Color. Type in BD8031. Change the Blend Mode to Color. We'll allow the color underneath to show through a little more by reducing the opacity to 90%. The last step is to give our image a soft vignette. Hide the adjustment layers by clicking off their eyeballs. Click on the focus layer to make it active and press Ctrl Shift Alt E or Command Shift Option E on a Mac to make a composite snapshot. Go to Filter and Lens Correction. The Lens Correction window will open. Click on the Custom tab and we'll adjust the vignette. We'll make the amount minus 80 and the midpoint minus 40. Click back on the eyeballs of the adjustment layers to make them visible. Using these simple techniques, you can transform any ordinary snapshot into an image that will last forever. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.